building up on this all season, and uh, we're under a, a new era here, the Coach Mark Wilson era. Uh, he's putting his staple on everything, and for those of you just tuning in, we, we want to talk about Coach Wilson a little bit. Uh, he's been a head coach, Heath, for 31 years. He's been a coach for 34, correct? And those, those first three years, if I'm not mistaken, was just a baseball coach. Since he started being a football coach, he's been a head football coach for 31 years. He's never been an assistant football coach. Yep. Um, that speaks volumes, um, what kind of um, programs he builds. And everywhere he's been throughout, he's been to six or seven different programs. Every time he picked them up from being down at the bottom and brought them up to being playoff teams each and every year. Yeah, he actually, his record, I believe he is the winningest coach uh, of any coach that we've had in Bacon County history. Yeah. And uh, he's brought in a very young staff. Uh, he's got two of his sons uh, here on his staff, uh, Matt Wilson and Ty Wilson, both former players and played for him. And uh, uh, Matt uh, played uh, quarterback at the collegiate level. I believe Ty played at the collegiate level as well. Well, no, he was um, ranked to be one of the top kickers. And That's right. And going into his senior year, he hurt his leg, and um, it was a career-ending top deal for him. And we but got they're definitely, you know, young guys. And Matt, we've already had him here before yes. under Coach Kofer. Um, so he's familiar with the area. He was he was chomping at the bit to get back. Matter of fact, he was the one that pretty much kind of pushed his dad to, to apply That's right. over here. That's right. He also brought on uh, Coach Austin Wilder, special teams coach. He's come from uh, Wayne County. Um, he's doing our special teams here, and uh, believe what else is he coaching? He's got, um, if I'm not mistaken, he's got outside linebackers. Outside, I knew it was linebackers, but and then you we, got um, Thad Williams coming back. Yep, he's been over to Appling over the last couple of years, but he's back as defensive coordinator. And he was here formerly with Kofer as yes, well, sir. so he's very familiar with the area and and. Kind of a hometown boy. Everybody around town knows him, and he's very active in the community. Yeah. Super excited to have Coach Thad Williams back. And we got Coach Matt Beecher. He's one of the returning coaches. Uh, he's actually moving up in the middle school program. He, yep. He's going to coach our defensive line for us this that, year. That's right. And we got Coach Noble Coley. He's our head baseball coach, and he's come in. What positions is he coaching? Heath? I'm going to mess. I messed up. He is doing offensive line coaching. Offensive yep. line. That's I almost right. messed up on where he was at. And we got hometown hero Tron Folsom. That's right. Uh, he's he's just coming off of his Arena League. Uh, they won a national, or I don't know if you don't yeah, call it a yeah, national championship. I think it was it's called like a, a league championship. Yeah, league championship, championship, Super Bowl, whatever. They won. They got a big trophy for it. Yes. But we are super excited to have hometown Tron Folsom back in town. And not only and that, we got um, another hometown boy, yes, Reed Burkett. Reed Burkett. He's working with the running backs, um, doing a phenomenal job. He's also our head uh, wrestling coach during wrestling season. So Reed has stepped in the last couple of years and been a big part of the program. And just a, an amazing quality of the whole coaching staff yeah. as a whole. That's right. I mean, I, I'm just really excited with everything that's going on from, you know, coach being the old hat and that old school uh, hard grid nose, grid iron, just old school football coach. And got this young uh, staff in here that's got all this swag you know, and they're super excited and got all that energy and are getting behind these kids and getting them pumped up, and they're, and they're coaching them hard. They are, they are. And, again, it's what they've expected from day one when I started watching just spring practice. Um, everything's going full speed. They ain't, they ain't letting up even when they're practicing and running plays on air. They expect them to run it at a certain level, and they, they hold it to them. They do. Well, Heath, um, again, we're over here facing Lanier County tonight. They had some pretty good numbers. Look pretty, pretty comparable to us, what I counted. They think got around 55 or so uh, on their squad. Um, they look pretty decent warm-up. I think it's going to be a pretty even matchup from, you know, just judging from warm-up. So we, we're not going to tell until pads start ticking. And with both teams, us and um, Lanier, we didn't get no scrimmage game in. Yes. There's not a lot of footage out there on either one of us on new offense for us and for them. We can kind of go off what they done last year and all, but you know, last year's last year. That's right. They're bringing in a new year. I know they lost their quarterback, and they lost their um, star wide receiver, but they're also returning two running backs. That's pretty good. They are. So I'm super excited, you know, to see, you know, coach needs some good film on our players so they can start seeing, you know, what uh, corrections we need to make. And, and unfortunately, you know, the scrimmages didn't work out. And, you know, here we are starting the night. And, I talked with the players early this morning. I said, you know, life treats us that way. No matter right. how much you prepare, you can't prepare for the first day that you're a dad. You know, you, you can read all the books. You can help raise brother and sisters. But till you have your own, it, 
you just thrown to the fire. That's right. Tonight they're they're getting thrown to the fire, and they just got to rise to the occasion. As you've got to man up and uh, and just get after it. Uh, they got to trust what they've learned all summer long. Again, these guys have worked hard all summer. They have. They've they have. been at it um, on the field. They've gone to camps. They've had the opportunity to go and um, show their skills to uh, college. They went up, I think he took 14 or 15 up to Georgia Southern for a day camp. Yep. So these guys have been working hard. It's and now time they're ready to hit somebody else. I'm sure they're tired of hitting each other. speaking of camp, uh, Coach took them the uh, first time in a long time. I can't remember the last time. It's been at least 12 or more years that we went to a FCA Fellowship of Christian Athlete oh, yeah. camp up at Georgia Southern. And i got to commend our community. Our community stepped up in a big way Man, and sponsored every player and coach so that uh, no one had to pay for their way into that FCA camp. And the blessing that come from that camp is, Heath, we had 35 players got saved. That's right. And we sent, from my understanding, we sent right at 60 kids and 35. Um, my math ain't real good, but that's over half. Yes. So, you know, any time that they can be presented to the Lord, and, again, some of them accepted it, even the ones that didn't accept it got it presented to them. And, and that's all I can ask for. And I'm going to I'm gonna co- uh, quote Coach here, Heath, and, you know, his whole comment on it is he said, guys, you know, I know how important wins are, and this is him speaking to the touchdown club. And uh, he said, I know how important wins are, and we're going to go after wins. He said, but we haven't even snapped the football yet, and we've already won this Amen. season. That's all, you know, and at the end of the day, and again, having a son on the team, yes, that's huge. Again, he, I know he listens to me preach on Sunday, but sometimes they don't listen to daddy as well as somebody that's else. Right. So to have somebody present it to him, and again, to have that many just accept it. If one would accept yeah. it, it would have been worth it. All. And I can't, you know, uh, praise Raider Nation enough. Oh, Our no, community man. of Alma, Georgia, Bacon County, Heath, uh, the support that they have given to our program. Uh, another big thing, if a lot of you tune in on Facebook or if you don't have Facebook, one of our uh, community businesses, uh, Titan Modular Systems and Spartan Trailers, uh, donated us a brand spanking new equipment trailer for the football team, and that thing is, I mean, it's sexy. Man, it is <laughs> nice looking. And it's, and it's only going to get better. We're going to get it wrapped, and it's going to look really good. Yes, then. sir. Um, but the thing pops, and again, it was something that was needed. We have one that they've had for about 10 years, 12 years maybe. Um, it was just wearing yep. out. Um, and, you know, we knew we had to get one, and we reached out to them, and, you know, praise God, they just yeah. they donated and it to us. And that was an $11,500 yeah. donation. I mean, that that, that is huge. That yeah. is a, uh, a huge change for this program that's because that's 11500 that we didn't have to spend and take away from buying food and weight equipment or, you know, things like that from these kids that we were able to have that donated to us. And uh, it, it was just, again, uh, he, you, you hit the nail on the head. It, it was a st- true blessing. That's it. And, you know, it, and it just hadn't stopped there. You know, no. our, our booster clubs, our boosters that stepped up year after year after year, this ain't something new. We've been, we've been, been blessed by these folks for the last three years that I've been involved in the touchdown club. You just call, ask up, and they say, here, and they yes. can tell you to come get the check. That's right. Um, again, Bacon County is, to me, I'll, I'll hold it up against anybody else as the best in the community. Absolutely. In the, in the state it, that I know of and giving to these kids. It and don't I matter gotta, what it is. And I got a shout out to some of our uh, Touchdown Club uh, members, uh, uh, Mr. Eric Moore sitting here in front of me, Mr. J.T. Taylor, uh, John Hughes, Roger Anderson, Laura Hayes, Heath Carver, yourself, myself, um, Kylie uh, Griffin and her husband. Uh, who else we got that's uh, usually there? Amy and uh, Chad Johnson. Yep, Amy and Chad Johnson. Uh, Mr. Uh, Crawford right here. Um, Garrett Crawford. Yep, Garrett Crawford. And I'm looking around, seeing who else we got here sitting nearby. Man, I tell you, though, um, Raider Nation's filling up the stand for yes, the are over here. It's looking real good, real exciting. And uh, we, we can't wait. Our Red Raiders are actually coming around the track to come in the end of the field and the cheerleaders have raised up uh, the banner and we want to take a quick break and we're going to come back live here for kickoff we're going to take a two minute break for station identification here on classic country 104.3 red raider football we got it going on we're going back to the uh, stadium there in just about two minutes for kickoff stick around (laughs) For quick and dependable semi-truck and tractor repair, choose Precision Maintenance in Alma. Your big truck and trailer is only making money when it's on the road, and at Precision Maintenance, they understand how important your truck is. 
and they do whatever they can to get you back on the road as quick as possible. For more information on the service of Precision online at precisionmaintenancea.com or call 912-307-9226 or go by the location at 140 Highway 32 Bypass in Alma. If you were looking for a great pre-owned car or truck that is dependable and from a pre-owned dealer that you can trust, then look no farther than Miles Auto Sales at Alma. James Miles and his folks are eager to put you in a pre-owned car or truck that you will love. Visit Miles Auto Sales located at 202 South Pierce Street in Alma or give them a call at 912-632-6520. And here's a big gold waiter from all the folks at Miles Auto Sales in Alma. If you're looking for a church family, come be a part of the Southside Church of God in Alma. There are two different times for Sunday morning service. One service is at 9 a.m. and one service is at 1045. The church is located at 102 Taylor Road in Alma. The pastor, David Dean, and the members invite you and your family to come worship with them. At Southside Church of God, you're only a visitor one time, and after that, you're part of the family. Like the County Red Raiders all on the road there in Lakeland taking on Lanier County, and we've got Joe Hayes and Carl. Raider Nation, welcome back. It's getting exciting here in the stands over in Lakeland, Georgia, taking on Lanier County. Our Red Raiders have uh, captains have walked out, and uh, we're in all white, white tops, white bottoms. Our he, red, our tell red us helmet. about the new red helmets. Man, I tell you, um, a couple of weeks ago, Coach Matt Wilson called me off to the side, showed me what he was designing for the helmet. And, I, man, I'm a nostalgia guy. Um, when I saw the, the first side of it, it's going back to the old white curse of Raiders we had back in Tony Rigdon and Coach yes. Ward's days. Um, so I was excited about that. And then you flip it over, and it's a new, uh, what I always call the Screaming Raider yeah. um, mascot. Nice, big, oversized. Um, it's got a white stripe with two black stripes down the middle. All in all, it just looks like a good helmet. It does, and I have to commend the staff on it. It's really exciting. I love the the Curse of Raiders for the throwback yep. to that uh, very important history in Bacon County history. And it looks like Bacon won the to um, toss, and we are going to defer to the second half, so we're going to be on defense to start the game out. The cheerleaders, uh, they've got a new run-through banner here, Heath, and, man, that thing looks really good. It does. Um you know, they, they you started using it last year. Yeah, we they got did. it for them, and um, they did still. It's, they've taken good care of it, and super excited about this thing. And our and Red Raiders, our Red Raiders. The field. Um, there, Coach Wilson's calling them over again. This is our first time coming through that um, knockdown, and man, they are um, nice-looking group of guys there coming onto the field. Um, Coach Wilson's been real big, and again, he's going to get them all together, and they're going to pray. Um, for safety for our guys tonight. And again, man, we're ready to kick off football here in Raider, or for Raider Nation. We ain't in Raider Nation yeah. yet. We'll get there next week. But. And it's a good feeling, Heath. It's almost like Georgia Bulldog football. You know, right. I get this, but this, you just don't get that same excitement. I mean, I, as much as I love Georgia Bulldog football, man, I love Red Raider football That's twice right. as much. And uh, man, there's just, you can't replace Friday Night Lights and the atmosphere and these kids, and it's still, football at its, you know, truest and finest form, uh, right. in my opinion. Um, we're going to kick off, and they're going to let them receive and see what they do. Um, looks like we're lining up. Looks like our kicker's going to be number, number 19, 19, Cozy Batten, um, senior force. And y'all give us some, have a little patience with us. Uh, we got, One, we have a good bit of uh, new kids on yep. the team, and uh, some numbers have changed, so... Uh, may take us a game or two here to get used to uh, these numbers and calling the names out right. And we didn't print out a, a roster, so we're scrolling on our phone yeah. trying to find it pretty quick. Well, Heath, and it, it's kind of hard sitting in bleachers right here, too. We don't have a desk to work from. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I, I like having the band right here close oh, to us, man. man. This is going to be an exciting night. We, it go real good. I'll be clapping hands with all kind of folks That's around right. here. I'll be like old Bobby Boucher. <laughs> yeah, you'd be hearing us do high fives That's jumping right. around. <laughs> But no, we're uh, Cozy Batten's teeing it up. The whistle's being blown. 
our Red Raiders, we are moving from, or we're going to be defending from our left to right. If we're looking at the field, like I said, we're on the visitor side. And a good sideline kick. kick. Yep. High in the air. He's going to receive it on. Number two sees it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they stop it right there. Nice tackle. Nice game tackle. What's that, about ten head of folks yeah. on top of that ball? And That's the way you tackle right They're going to mark it. It was a one-yard gain on the play. Yeah. So uh, They're going to start about the 21, 22-yard line. So be first down and he it's gonna be tough tonight calling these numbers because uh we might have to I don't know that we can stand up another level. We're gonna uh, block our cameras, so we're just gonna have to make do. Well Joe, I'd like to say that was an excuse, but I had trouble last year reading the numbers, <laughs> so I ain't even gonna lie. But we're gonna come in on the defense. Looks like we're gonna run a, a three man front and walk up to two linebackers. We got a big nose lined up at center and my goodness he uh he just blew uh, our nose guard blew their center off his, just about decleated him there, number 75. Who is that for us? Number eight was on the run for um, Lanier. He lost his helmet, so he'll have to go out for a play. Marquan Lee is our nose. And it looks like a penalty on Lanier, Lanier. County. Yep. So that's going to mark him back. Look like holding on Lanier. It'll be a five-yard penalty. No, false start. False start. No, they ten-yard penalty. No, nope, five-yard. Okay. We'll get it right in a minute. We might have needed a scrimmage game too, Joe. Yeah, we, I think we, <laughs> we had everything else. Last week we got a good logistics practice That's of right. moving and getting there. We just didn't get a good uh, commentator practice. That's right. And here they hand yeah. it off again. And, and we, we hit him in the, in the backfield. backfield. It's going to be like a loss of yeah. one yard there, Joe. It sure is. Man, that nose guard, number 75, man, he is he's he blowing is. through there, man. And, again, that's number 75, Marquan Lee. Uh he is just killing it at nose for us. Their center, so far, he cannot handle Mark One. No, he's he's getting through there, and he's he's disrupting the play, and that's definitely what we need right out of the gate there. And this center, and that's one thing Coach preached in pregame is hit him in the mouth. Yeah. They, they put two on him. And a complete oh, pass. nice tackle by number 19. Oh, he shakes loose, but he's oh, in again. Again, the Raiders come in. There's three, four Raiders come in after the first hit. Great, great play by Cozy Batten, and then the follow-up by JoJo to finish the play off, man. That and is going to be a two-yard gain on the play. Great job by our defense. It's going to bring up third down and about 13. The ball is around the 20-yard line. I believe it's right on the 20. And Lanier runs a one, back, uh, one running back backfield, trips down to the bottom. Our guys are lined up. They take the snap. He drops he's back. Look pass, a little screen, screen. pass. Number eight, to number eight, and he's got blocking, and he might make it. He's, he's got, got one man, and, and number ten, him down. number ten, and Aiden Cawthorn brought him down, saved the touchdown Woo. right there. Man, that screenplay, if them guys have got their ears pinned back, is yes. going to hurt us. We're going to have to read that a little bit better than what we just did. And that number eight with the Lanier is a good-looking athlete yeah. there, Heath. And uh, being we Aiden Cawthorn on the uh, tackle there, i got to give a shout-out to his mom, Wendy Cawthorn. We know you're at home tuning in, girl. We love you. We're thinking about you. We're, We're praying, praying for you. you. know you want to be here, and we're just going to do the best job we can to bring that action live for you. Lanier come back to the line. Number four back at quarterback, hands off down to the bottom side. Number eight. He's trying to get to the outside. And we're going to lock up and bring him down maybe half a yard, and I we'll see a flag. They got a flag here. See what's going on. Kind of looks like a personal foul. I'm not sure, He Great tackle on our end. Uh, didn't let him outside of us. It looks like he's trying to get to the outside of us. And, again, with his speed, we done saw our that screen play. Our guys are pointing at them. And, again, uh, it looked like there was a little. Uh, it's on them, so it's going to back them up. And like I said, man, our guys are swarming. They tonight. are. They are. That defense is on. Seems to be on point right now. I never seen a. Never seen what they called. I, he was facing away from us, so yes. I didn't see what it was. It probably was a personal foul. With that. And that's what I thought it was. Was a personal foul. They just never made the signal. So that's going to bring up first down and uh, a long ways. Looks <laughs> like about twenty. Yeah. Like I said, it's hard to count with those our our guys on the sideline. We can't see where those hashes are. And they got the ball on the 31. He got, drops back to throw a little quick. He's trying Out. to get outside. And, and he's going to get about him down, but he's going to bring about 12 yards. Yeah. Good little play for Lanier County. Very quick pass there, Heath. Uh, good job by the quarterback. Those dink and dunk passes sometimes will kill you if yes. you ain't prepared for it. Yeah. 
So it's going to bring up second down and eight for Lanier. Lanier's running a no huddle to get in the plays from the sideline. They're not doing it at speed or no. anything, but it's still no huddle. They run twins up top, running back right behind. They try to get our guys to jump off sides, but we don't fall for it. Great discipline we see in early this, yes. this afternoon. And they hand, hand it off, off to the top side. He's got a little bit of block. Man, we'll get a we hand get on there. him, but he had some speed going in, running through the line, and uh, he's, he's going to drag us forward for about a eight- or nine-yard gain. They got a penalty flag over there on the far side. False start. Looks like false on start. Lanier, that's going to back them up. Yep. Um, again, our guys, our Ooh. defense, man, we're, we're looking pretty disciplined yep. right now, and I know it's early on. But that's something, you know, we we worked, we struggled with last year. And it seems like maybe we're working on fixing it and our guys are being disciplined. But, man, every time, man, our, our defensive linemen are across the line. Yeah, we shifted. Uh, we got had Tyler Thomas that knows uh, this last play. Yep. Uh, just a super exciting kid and a uh, fine young man, fine young man. Uh, he's going to line up at nose. He Thank gets God. in. They're going to hand the ball off to number eight, and we get a hand on him. Fumble, fumble, fumble. I think we got the ball. We got the ball. Red got the ball. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. That's the way to start it right here. We needed that. Bad. We needed that bad. What a bad. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, We've been wanting to see, and we've seen it this summer. I've been seeing it all, all summer. Thad Williams, Coach Thad Williams and his defensive staff, man, they are intense, and it's, it's shown tonight so far. Well, let's see if we can carry this excitement over into the offense. Our Red Raiders come in, and they got their little uh, three-running back package. They go to hand it off up the middle. We he ain't got a whole lot of place line. to go. But, man, he's still driving his feet there. Yep. And he might have picked up a I half a yard. I don't think they're even going to move it. But that no. was um, number one, Travion Richardson, for the run there. Um, again, he was met at the line. Yep, that is Travion. Yep. So our Red Raiders are in the huddle. We break out. We've got a wide receiver up top, wide receiver down at the bottom. Um, we've got it's kind of like a, a triangle formation there out of shotgun. We drop a hold. quick pass to number, number 10. 10. Cawthorn, stiff arm, he's going to break the tackle. He's going down the sideline, and they're going to pull him out of bounds for one a gain, player. A gain of about 25 yards yes, by Mr. Aiden Cawthorn right here. A.K.A. A. A. Hollywood. I know we said we wouldn't I, call him that. I told him I wouldn't call him Hollywood. <laughs> he can be mad at me all he wants to. Great, great young man, um, great personality, love yeah. him to death. Um, we pick at each other all the time, but that was a great yard after catch. I'll tell you, you what, it. though, Heath, if he keeps making plays like that, we, we're going to have to rise up, and we, we're going to have to call him Hollywood, I think. Hey, that was a great play. Our Red Raiders come out. Um, looks like it's a tight offense now. Still no three receivers. running backs. Um, tight ends in. Handed up off the middle number. Well, break a tackle. Number one hits a whole heart. And, man, he drags about Woo! three or four or two more yards for another first down for Red Raiders there. Talk about a physical run. Uh, number one. Uh, Traquavius, right? Not Tra uh, no. Tra Travion Richardson. Travion. 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 Yeah. And he's not one that'll – he ain't going down on the first No, hit. he's not. He's going to keep moving his feet and keep turning. And he's he going to make yards happen. And he is an exciting, explosive player. He I mean, is. he just – as soon as that ball touches his hands, he is full speed. I mean, he's got some guys blocking him. Um, number five, Rashid Slade. I'd hate to see him coming at me yes. blocking-wise. Oh, oh, man, they missed that block. And they're they going to wrap us up in the backfield. There. And it's going to be about a one-yard loss on the play. Yep. Yeah, but this old running, running offense, like we talked about yep. last year, I love it. Give me five yards in a cloud of dust all day long, man. I can sit here and watch running, defense, <laughs> running offense. But we line up quickly there. We get there. Still tight offense. We got Knox Ledbetter in at quarterback. And he's looking to the sideline for a new play, cause an audible. Go. Goes to pitch it outside. Got a block. Breaks tackle. He breaks the tackle. He's he's tackle. Oh, man, we got a penalty he's back here. We got a touchdown down here. Oh, no. They're going to probably get us for holding. That's in the area of holding right here. We'll see what they call here, but that was a great play. My goodness. Holding oh, on man, us. holding on us. Man, great pitch, great run, a great vision there by. Because he cut back up. He didn't go to the outside. He cut back he, up to the inside. And that's Travion. Travion, he ain't going to try to get the outside. Yeah. He's going to find an open field. He's going to put that foot in the dirt. He's going to go. 
man, that was a nice play, um, explosive play. Um, now we just got to do it again. That's right. It's there. We just got to capitalize on it. Um, we're running now back out our two wide receivers. Um, it's going to bring up second down and about 20. Yep. Um, we're running in a Cozy batting at quarterback. I know there was packages for Cozy. Um, again, he was our quarterback most of the year last year, done a great job for us. Um, very athletic. He's going to be one. Of, he's an explosive player for sure. Balls on, uh, we're in Lanier County, just inside. We're on the 49. Send a man in motion. We're going to hand it. Nope, he pulls it. Oh, they got yeah, some yep. false start. Going to back us up even more. Yep. So we're here uh, five minutes and 51 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Uh, the score is zero to zero. Uh, so far, Bacon County uh, defense uh, uh, caused a fumble and we recovered a fumble. And offense, uh, we've had some exciting things going here. Uh, we've just not been able to capitalize. We're shooting we, ourselves in the foot with, with penalties in yeah. the first game of the season. Yes. Um, I would love to say we cleaned it up. We can clean it up, and we can. It's something that's fixable by, by sure. But, you know, right now we've got that touchdown call back um, for holding. Um, again, that took a lot of times a hustle play. He got out there and got his hands tied up. It is what it is. But we got Knox Ledbetter back at quarterback. They've called a timeout for so, Red Raiders. So the Red Raiders take a timeout, and we will take a 45-second break and send it back to the station for a little station identification with Mr. Paul on Classic Country 104.3. Raider timeout, five minutes and 24 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Second down and about 25. Uh, we got a long ways to go. Uh, we had a touchdown uh, uh, call back on a holding call, and then we've had two more penalties, and we just keep shooting ourselves in the foot, trying to get a little redemption. We snap the ball, hand it off, try to go up the middle. Joe's going to try to get something. He got back to the line of scrimmage, yeah. it looks like, Joe. He did. So that's going to bring up third down and 25 and just a long ways to go. It is, and our guys have they've done good. We're, we're, you know, keep pounding it in there, pounding it in there. Um, again, just had those bad calls yes. on, that went out against us, and, you know, it's not, it definitely didn't help us and didn't set us up for a, a long third down um, that we didn't need to start the game with. So we've got Knox led better back at quarterback. We've got twins down at the bottom, one wide receiver up top. Knox calls for the ball. He drops back to pass. He's looking deep. Looks deep. He's, He's got a man open. Oh, in and out of the hands. Broken up by number one. Great play by number one for Lanier. Um, but, man, another step out there. Knox could have got it out just a little bit further, man. He'd have caught that in stride and yes. been gone. Um, great. Hey, great play call. I love oh, it. Yeah. Um, try to get him deep. We got – now that brings up a punting situation for the Red Raiders. Got cozy batting back at uh, punting position. Looks like we've got Trent Music at long snapping this year. Um, another exciting player. I know we're going to be hearing that name a whole lot this season. That's right. Good nice snap. snap. Good punt. Kind of shanked it yep. rolling. It's going to take a Red Raider bounce. And it's, it's going to go, go out, out of bounds, bounds to the 25. Looked about the 24, but they're going to give them that extra yeah. yard, it looks like. No, 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 no they're going to put it the 24. All right. Going our way tonight. Going our way. Excuse me for saying something yeah, about the rest first thing. Hey, we'll take it. <laughs> uh, but, no, our defense comes back on the field, man. I hope they come out wide open again like they just did, man. Um, after a while, that offense ain't going to like being hit in the mouth. You keep no, hitting them there. We put number 75 back in at nose, and uh, we'll see if he's uh, as explosive. Man, he, uh, that first series, series. He, was, he was dominant that first series. That, 
That poor old center, he's going to have a long night. I, he, I think 75 outweighs him about 150 pounds. Definitely, definitely. I'd, I'd say he's about double. And we get penetration, oh, and he buys oh, a hole. He, does. he bounces it to the bottom side. He makes and we get it to the out. Uh, we pin him in there, but not before a first down for Lanier County Bulldogs. And that's going to be a 20 – that's a 20-yard gain on the play. Yep. So they're going to spot the ball at the 45. I'm telling you, Lanier's got some good running backs. They do. And if you give them open lanes like he just had there, they're going to run all day on us. Um, but our defense, we're lined back up, start out in a 3-3 front. We had good penetration on that play. We just uh, – it was too big of a hole. We, we it, gave him a gap. They turned our guy perfectly. It was a perfect block on there. And they're a little mixed up here on. they getting down close to the yep. play clock. And trips up top. And hand off hand the number eight. And we get a hand on him and he slips away. But, man, we stack him up there. He's going to gain about a yard on that play. So we hit him at the line of scrimmage and he just falls forward trying to get anything he could because we had six, seven Red Raiders on him. Yeah, number 50 um, up top, Keyshawn, he had his hands on him. He just couldn't bring him on down with that one. It's going to bring up second down and one. Balls on the 46, three minutes and 18 seconds. Clock's ticking here in the first quarter. Score remains zero to zero. Lanier's on there, 44, 46-yard line. Um, our guys are lined up. They back, hand off to number six. He's got he him a hole. a hole. And, man, when he takes off, he's hard to catch. And again, Just sophomore that. Aiden Cawthorn catches him. Saves the touchdown again. Um, he's playing a great job back there at free safety force tonight. Um, young man is um, just he's trying he's trying to live up to that name. Yep. And they're gonna spot the ball down around the 26. Yep. So they're in Bacon County territory. Big gain on that play for Lanier County. Again, we've just got to find a way to close these holes up. Yeah, they're opening up holes. We're, we're one of the first times, Joe, I'm going to say on the line, we're a little bit bigger than they are. Oh, and man, nice man. tackle. Number seven, Trent Music come in there. Woo. And I, I said it, you're going to hear that name called a lot. And he comes in uh, just full speed and just hits him right in the hips and brings him to the dirt. That's the only way he knows how to hit, full speed. Um, nice little tackle there, but they did gain about three yards on the play, Joe, so it's going to bring up about seven and six. Second and six. Yes. Second and six. They come with trips down at the bottom. Got number they eight in the, the backfield. Um, changing up the play a little bit. Move to running back to the other side now. Go. Oh, we hit him in the backfield, but he let go. And he's brought back down by number three for the Red Raiders. What they're trying to do is make cuts uh, back to the weak side. It is, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's zone yeah. running is what it is. They're finding the green spot to hit. Um, number three is Marquavius O'Neill came in and made that tackle. Heath, I do have a roster here for the near. I'm going to see number eight, this running back, Jalen Calhoun. He's the big runner. Oh, yeah. man, we had – Nice stop, man, but he keeps driving he his keeps feet. Driving. He is not going to be easy to yep. bring down all night long. And he's a senior. Again, number eight for uh, Lanier County. It's going to bring up fourth and two. Um, to me, I think, I don't know what their kicking game is, but they're pretty deep in their own yep. end zone. Um, having pretty good luck with um, running the ball. I don't know if you don't just go for it yep. here. There's 45 seconds. Clock continues to roll. 25 seconds remaining on the play clock. So they're probably going to let that time run down as much as possible. All right, Red Raiders, we got to stand up right here, guys. It's fourth down. Big fourth down stop. We need it. High snap. Number one. Quarterback's going to QB key. Oh, man, did we get him? We get him. No, oh, sure. they're going to mark it down right at I the, think right he, over the first down line. So he's going to pick up a first down. Heath, it was a shoestring tackle, and he just had enough speed and momentum to man. fall forward. So that's going to bring up first and about 15, or first and goal, or first down on the 15 yard line. With about 17, I'm 15 glad seconds. You can see the 15 because I can't even see it. Yeah. 
High snap. And they hand it off and number eight, and he breaks to the outside. And we have mid two missed tackles, three. But we got a flag here. I think yeah. there's a block in the back here on our um, cornerback. Again, man, you give that kid any free space. Yes. And he did it all last year. Um, again, it's not a hard offense to scout. It's, you know, you know where the ball's going yeah. nine times out of ten. Um, they're going to put it in his hands. That is their playmaker. Definitely. On offense and defense. Option play, uh, we run in, score a touchdown, and have a penalty call. That little back. yellow flag caught us. Yes. That, was, that was the best tackle they've had all night. And after that, we had two, three more penalties plague us and uh, just got us too deep uh, back. We were, you know, second down and 25. And we were relying um, on the pass when we were a more run-heavy team right now. Yes. Um, they got tripped down at the bottom. Lanier comes back out. It's first and about 15 for them. They backed them up to about the 20-yard line. They're going to hand it and off to number eight. Counter. He's going to hit right up the middle. middle. We grab him, and he gets about three to four yards on the play before number six, JoJo, brings him down. Again, i I'll tell you what, it's pretty physical out here uh, on the receivers as well with uh, our corners tied up with their receivers. There's a lot of hands action going on there. <laughs> it's very physical. Again, Lanier's, Lanier's going to run, 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 and try to get to the outside. And our guys are holding their ground, trying not to let them outside. They've got trips down to the bottom. They swing the running back onto the bottom side of the quarterback. One running back backfield. False start. Looks like a false start. They want to give yes, it to sir. us. We'll take it all night long. That's going to back Lanier up, and that's going to bring up second down in about, about seven. 17. About 17. But our Red Raider defense, man, we have we gave up some plays, but, man, we ain't broke at all. We still just right here in it. Um, again, they're pinning their ears back. They're doing their job um, getting across the, the line of scrimmage and just wrecking havoc up back there in the backfield a little bit. He's getting touched almost every time. We just can't bring him down. It's the first time in a long time I can say I think our defensive line is outsizing their offensive line. Yeah. Nice High pass. pass he's got blocked. Top. And the he's got, got, they got holding. holding. We bring him down at about the five yard. No, we brought him down in the end zone. Yep. But it looks like that's going to be called back on a holding call. Again, that was, they had a hold there, but reading they had a hold was he was holding. Holding on the near county, so. That's going to negate that touchdown. Yeah. So now that's two touchdowns that's being called back tonight by holding. I'm sure at halftime both coaches are going to address that yeah, Definitely. One. And this is what happens, Heath, when you, you know, coming into a first game of the season, uh, neither teams have had any play in time, and uh, you, you're just going to make these mistakes you early are. on like this. You are. And it's going to bring up a second and about 15. I think they just brought it back to where it was at a while ago. But it looks like Lanier is kind of getting their play together. I thought the coach was 
I had something to say to the referee, but I think they're just getting their play in. There's 10 minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The score remains 0-0. Zero to zero. They brought in number one at quarterback, and that's the guy that it's more the running quarterback yeah. when he's in there. But they still got number eight in there. Both of them are, got some speed on them, so we got to watch both of them. We go. Go to handoff. Oh, look, fumble. 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 You see how they come up. They got a, We got another flag here. Is that number eight? No, they're nah, they going to give it to them. I think we're going to get all sides. I think we jumped that one a little bit too quick. Mm -hmm. No, he's pointing towards. And we're running in a couple of more guys here. for. He's our coming to ends. talk to Coach Wilson. He's trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, he's pointing to them. No signal yet. No, and it looks like our – Man, it looks like we almost changed our whole offensive line out. Yeah, we end. did. Pers the personnel in it changed drastically yep. there. Our Was defensive that a personal line. foul? It looked like one. Yeah, it's they marking off, and it's going to be second oh, in the country goodness. mile. That's going to back them all the way up to the 44-yard uh, line, so it's going to be second down and, good gracious, 5, five 10, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, Joe, take your shoes off. 40. We went over 10. It's going to be second down and about 40. Our Red Raider defense, again, like I said, changed out the whole defensive line, it looked like, for a new crew. Um, got number 65 in there. I know him as Peanut from <laughs> wrestling. Um, he's come out, and he done a good job all summer here. Um, glad to see that young man getting some playing time. He drops back for a pass, screen, screen pass. And, man, we got him locked up. Ah, ah, he still sneaked away from us. And a flag. We got some more. Sideline. It's going to be a sideline infraction on us. I guess it'll be just a warning. No, you got number 10 pleading his case over here. Yeah. But now he's clapping, so he's going to say it's on them. Yeah, it should be a, a warning. They're telling our coaches yep. where they need to be standing at. Um, and I can tell you, as just a youth coach, following those little white boxes are – It is. Man, I thought they got a warning on the first one. But, man, they marked yeah. off look like 15 yards on us. Good gracious. So, it's going to bring up second and about 15. It seems like they just keep going back to that mark all the time. Coaching staff is definitely backing everybody up now. Yep. So, Again, our defense, man, they are standing strong. They're standing tall. Um, super proud of their effort this afternoon. Handed off number, number eight. Six. He gets behind the block. And man, he's, he's going to put his head down, and we're going to barrel him backwards. Not after about a about a four-yard gain on the play. But I love the aggression of defense coming in there and just um, knocking him over backwards. These you know, guys so ain't far, playing patty cake tonight. No. So it's going to bring up third and 11 for Lanier County. Another, we need a big Red Raider stand right here, defensive stand. Eight minutes and 11 seconds. Clock continues to click here in the second quarter. Score remains zero to zero. Bacon versus Lanier. And our Red Raider defense are digging their toes in, trying to make a huge stand right here. They try to get us to jump off sides. Number four is back in quarterback for Lanier County. Um, look for him. He can pass the ball. They got, that's what they're doing, dropping back we, the pass. Rush. Oh, man, holding right here. And, man, he's wide, wide open. open. He going to walk in for a touchdown for Lanier County. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I believe it was holding back here. That running back had to grab a hold of our nose guard as he comes through. Yep. But it's going to be a touchdown for Lanier County. So Lanier's going to put the first score up. That's going to bring it six to nothing, see what kind of kicking team they have here for the PAT. And like I said, that looked like it was just a little bit of blown coverage there. Yeah, I think in our was. secondary, a um, little confusion out here. We had two guys on one guy. We did. Lanier lines up for the PAT. Number 18 is the holder. Looked Kick like there's a up, jump in there, and, and it would have been no good. Yep. Um, I, I say let's not do it no more. Let's see who jumped first. They gonna call it on them, I think. But he's he, thrown he, from. He shanked it to the left. It looked like they're going to line up and re-kick it again. Coach is going to decline that. But it's a dead ball. Oh, it was a dead ball. 
All right. So they're going to back, back him up him a little up. bit. Yep. He's going to try it again. Um, looks like the, whole, the kicker is going to be number 16 for Lanier County. Littlest man on the field. He is. <laughs> He's probably about 115 pounds soaking wet, if that. They snap it, nice snap. He gets it. And he does it again. He, he pulls it. And it's going to be no good. So that's going to bring the score. Lanier County, six. Bacon County, zero. Seven minutes, 41 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. We'll take a quick 30-second break. Return. So that's going to bring up first down and 10. The ball is going to be spotted on the 26 yard line. And Joe, I just felt a rain drop I there on my head. I've been seeing it behind us, but Heath, it doesn't, it doesn't appear to be too terrible. And I'm really not complaining because it feels really good it right does, now. It does, it does. And then look, just looked at the radar while we were on break, and it does look like there's a piece going behind us here. Um, so maybe we'll it'll go around us and we'll miss it. Yep. I can handle a little drizzle. Uh, that that won't be too bad. It looks like they're calling water break. Water break. All right. So we will uh, take advantage of that and allow some time for Mr. Paul to get our sponsor some recognition. So we will take a 40 second timeout and send it back to the station here on Classic Country 104.3. First, to Franklin Financial. Raider Nation, I want to welcome you to another year on the NFHS Network, powered by Play on Sports, but brought to you by BCTV Red Raider Broadcasting. My name is Brent Johnson. I'm, I'm here tonight as we're production or producing our show from live from Lanier County, Lakeland, Georgia. Gage Lee, a junior at Bacon County High School, is on the camera. Uh, we're here with the radio guys, Joe and Heath. Again, thank you for joining us here in the 2022 Red Raider football season. Welcome back after uh, we come off a quick water break there and uh, they started the play back. First play uh, was a handoff to uh, number one, was it Heath? Travion Richardson, yeah, he got a couple of yards on the play, so that's going to bring up second down and eight for our Red Raiders. Travion and Rashid back with the quarterback. They look to the sideline, get a play in. Look for the pitch. Nice pitch, number one. They, 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 gonna, they, wrap, they him wrap him up this time. Looks like it's going to bring up no gain there. So going to bring up third down for our Red Raiders. Um, nice little pitch there, but they were ready for it that they time, were. Joe. They were. And I think we showed it a little bit there, Heath, uh, just with a little bit of inexperience uh, with the players and how they were looking. Um, and we've got – we ran Cozy Batten in at quarterback. Um, I know him and Knox are going to switch out some this year. Um, JoJo's in the backfield with um, Cozy. We got twins down at the bottom, one wide receiver up top. 
try to get them to jump. Manier defense going to stay disciplined. Ah, oh, nice little toss this way. Yes. Cozy little. side armed it. Um, nice catch by number two there. Diving catch there, but it's going to bring up fourth down for the Red Raiders. <laughs> and so we're going to punt here. And again, had that ball been up around waist or chest level, I think he could have got a hand on it. And not sure if he'd have went eight yards, but uh, you know there was a, there was definitely a lane there for him to take. If if Guinea gets any open field, he's going to be gone too. Yeah. Got Cozy back at the punt. Trent Music at long snap. They call for the ball. Nice snap. Nice high kick by Cozy Batten. It's going to float. They're going to let it bounce. It's going to take a good little Red Raider bounce, and we are going to They're going to call the ball it. dead about the 33-yard line for Lanier County. Nice little high kick there by yeah. Cozy. He's it allowed up. our guys time to get down there. Yeah, Guinea was watching it the yeah. whole time. He about outran the thing, I yeah. think. When he got under the ball, it was probably 20 feet under his head still, and he was standing under it. Yeah. So our defense comes back out. Big number 75 there is going to take back his spot there at nose guard. Again, I like the aggression I've seen there tonight. Uh, we've been hitting them in the mouth at nose guard position. And he, our defense, like I said, they, they've done a great job. Um, had that one missed um, communication back there for the touchdown. But our defense has been stout all night long. Lanier's going to start with twins down at the bottom, running back, one running back. They hand it and off to him. six, and we get a hand on him, but he's going to spin out. He ain't gonna, going down with just one hand. No. He, you're going to have to wrap him up and bring him all the way to the dirt. It's um, about a four-yard gain on the play. It's going to bring up second down and six. Four minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Uh, clock continues to tick down here. Lanier County on offense. The uh, score is Lanier County six, Bacon County zero. Uh, Lanier uh, missed two field goals there. Had one field goal they missed and uh, had a penalty, the dead ball penalty, backed it up and still missed it on the second. So Lanier brings trips down to the bottom. One running back to put number one in motion. He goes there to the end. Go hand, hand off. off. He, he cuts back it. in the middle, and we Ooh. get him at the line. Number 75 just closed that hole up on him in a hurry. And we He knocked the helmet off. Um, I said he come off his block, and when he yes, come back sir. across there, he was waiting on he him. He hit him under the chin and picked him up off the ground and took him backwards. Very, very, <laughs> very good play by him right there. Um, so, Lanier, that player. Oh, now they got a – looks like a flag was just thrown. Is that sideline on them? If it is – I hope they – Back them up 15 yards. Let's, Let's see what the white hat calls here. And it was on the other side yeah, over was. there. And I didn't see any of our guys around it, so I would think it wouldn't be on our – so it's side line one and on yeah. them. Oh, unsportsmanlike conduct, oh, Keith. Nah. So that's going to definitely back them up. And I wonder if that was about the helmet getting coming off and players getting chippy mouthing over there. Uh like I said, I didn't see none of our guys over there. Yeah. So, um, if he was if he was fussing at somebody, he was hollering at them. It either come from the player or something happened over there with the coaching staff that they admit might have been mouthing off at the referees. Might have been. But they go trips up top. Um, one running back up towards the top side of it. We shift our line a little bit. A little screen passing. It, it looked like low. it hit the dirt. Yeah. So, yeah. man, we wrapped that up. They didn't go nowhere with it. That's going to bring a fourth down. And about a 15, no, about a 17. 17-yard, 17 fourth and 17. Great job by our defense there. Again, you know, we're still learning names and numbers yes. and all, but I just can't just – number 75 has impressed me all night long so far. He's done a great job. Clock continues to roll here, uh, three minutes and 30 seconds. There's 27 seconds uh, on the play clock. It's continuing to clock down, so they're going to milk this time run out this play clock, trying to get as much off this clock, I'm sure, as they can. It looks like we got number 10, Aiden Cawthorn, and number 19, Cozy Batten, back deep to receive the punt. Um, he don't look to be that deep. Good snap. Great punt, Lanier. Aiden number Cawthorn's going to field it. He, he man, breaks one, one tackle. tackle. And, man, he, he had him a seam, yeah. but he was brought down by number 10 for Lanier County. Great tackle by number 10. It's going to be about a five-yard uh, gain on the return there. 
Aiden Cawthorn looked like he knew what he was doing yeah. on getting that punt. I know there's been times in Red Raider history we always Ooh, held our breath. Nervous. I yeah. was holding mine. I ain't, I ain't, I'm not going to lie to you. But great job. Um, our Red Raiders are going to take over close to midfield here. So um, let's see if we can't do something here in the next three minutes, Joe. Be first down and 10. They spot the ball, Heath, on the 43. Yep, on our 43. Uh, there's three minutes and one second remaining in the second. 48, Joe. What's that? It's on our 48. Oh, Yep, you're right, 48. We got our um, bullet package in the backfield. They hand it off to number one, and, man, number 64 meets him at the line. He didn't get nowhere, maybe a yard on the play. They're going to mark it about a half a yard. Now they mark it a yard. Yep. So it's going to bring up second and nine with 2.45 left in the half. Clock is running, Joe. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Continuing to click down, second down and nine. Balls on the 49 in Bacon County territory here, trying to get into Lanier County territory, make something happen. Come on, Red Raider offense. Snaps off, hand it off, number one. He's going to get to the outside. And they're going to have a gang tackling there for a gain about two, one yard, one and a half. Yep. Uh, man, he had some lead blockers, and he was doing a pretty good job. But, man, they, they slid off of them, they done their job on defense like they were supposed to do. I'm um, going to bring up third, third and about in. seven for our Red Raiders. Yep. So, defensively, Lanier doing a good job here uh, late in the second quarter, moving downhill to the ball. And uh, we've just not been able to make anything happen um, here in the second quarter offensively. He. Need a big play here. Need a spark. Need somebody to step up and make something happen. They look like they're throwing a blitz. Man, he's got a guy open here. Deep. He's going to catch him. Oh, man, that's pass oh, interference. No, come on, man. How in the world? He tackled him yeah. before the ball ever got there. And it, he was reaching for the flag, too, and then he second-guessed it. And man, that to me. Hey, guys, ain't nothing we can do about it. Yep. We guys got to have the next play. That's going to bring up fourth and about seven. Looks like we're calling on the punt team. And it appeared to me it was a little bit overthrown, maybe a yard or two, but we were trying to move, and it was hard to say if our guy could get to it because, again, you know, I thought he was tackled before uh, the yeah. ball even got to him, Heath. I think that was a bad call there, um, but you had those in football. You do. Um, I, <laughs> one thing you always tell your players, there ain't no such thing as a good referee. So we're going to punt it to Lanier here. And, they blow the whistle. Somebody call a timeout. I don't know what happened on that play. Oh, they jumped off side, so that's yep. going to give us five yards. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, Ooh, now, we're in, uh, now we're in Lanier County territory. So. <laughs> now now this is where all of us sideline coaches stand up yeah. and, and try to second guess. Looks like we run an offense yeah, back out. We're going to go for it here. That's what I'm talking about. Is it third now? Yeah, it'll be fourth and about okay, two. there you go. It's going to be fourth and two. Come on, guys. we got to have this right here. we got to get big right here. Hey, we need a spark right here, yes. Joe. This would be awesome if we can get this. No, they, didn't reset the they didn't reset the play clock. Hold on. Man, they got it. They never reset that play clock. Coach yeah. Wilson is not happy here. He's calling a timeout. He's having a talk with this official. He wants he's, to have a He's talk. telling them to radio up top to see, to verify that that official did not reset that uh, play clock. He's going to have a talk with them right here. So uh, on this timeout, Heath, we'll send it back to the station for a 30-second break to get our sponsors, sponsors a little attention here on Classic Country 104.3.
Now our defense comes on the field. And a good combo there with the height and the speed we have on special teams, Heath. Man, yeah, I don't uh, know if you noticed or not, Trent Music, who's our long snapper, was the first one down there that yeah, time. No. <laughs> um, when, when that guy can get there faster than anybody else, that's a good thing for yes, us. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Especially Trent. If he sees that ball and they ain't fair caught it, yes, sir. it's going to be a long day for that young man. And I, whew, I pray for the guy that's brave enough to try it. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Uh, One minute and 18 seconds remaining here in the second half. Lanier County taking over first down and 10. Ball's on. They're backed up deep on the 10-yard line. Uh, boy, I'd love to see a big spark here on the uh, defense again. Cause a fumble. They hand it off. He goes back to the weak side. We're going to hit him in the backfield. And, and man, we're just going to drive him back. Oh, we got oh, the ball. We have the ball. Touchdown for him. Come on. You were kidding me. Are they they gonna call him. Oh, man. They're going to say it was down. They said it was down. Man, that was <coughs> – hey, that was a big play by My Red Raiders. Goodness. That stopped them for a three-yard loss right there. Um, that was huge. Number eight. And, man, that's putting them on about their four-yard line, Joe. Um, but, man, they're not going – they're going to be slow to run a play here yep. for sure. So, uh, this that is going to be Jalen – no, sorry. I'm back on their, uh, their roster. Let me flip back over to mine. <laughs> They run. That was Aiden Wright. Aiden Wright. Yep, that was Aiden Wright that picked up the fumble, and uh, but they, they marked him down. They're going to hand it off, come to the strong side. We're going to hit him back at the line. We're driving him backwards. We try to strip the ball. He's going to hang on to it. Hey, man, our, our defense is something else right Ooh. now. 19 um, seconds remaining. Clock continues to go down here. And that's probably going to be it for we, the half, Joe. Yeah, it is. But they're, they're not going to do anything here. No. Nah. So we're going down eight seconds. So it looks like Five going into the half. They're already running in, so Lanier's going to call it there. And great job. I have to hand it to our defense here. They they tried hard to make something happen. So we're going to end it at the half. Uh, Lanier County 6, Bacon County 0. Two big things there. Uh, both teams did have two touchdowns called okay. back, but yep. uh, Lanier County did have better momentum on offense, and I have to hand it to number 8 there. Uh, running back is just an explosive, he is. Uh, very uh, nimble, yep. and I mean he's just juking and jiving, and he's finding holes. and And if you give him a hole, you, you he's getting about 20 yards on us every time. And our Red Raiders, we we're, we're chipping away, we're getting a little bit of momentum there yep. on the run game. And again, that's that's the run game. You got to be yep. patient with it. Um, you're going to bust a big one every so often, but most of the time you're looking for three to four yards. And we ain't got quite got there yet. But, man, defensively, man, we have been, to me, off the charts. Definitely, this and I think that's going to be our spark tonight. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. Somebody might make a big play on offense, but I feel like our spark tonight is going to come on defense because the enthusiasm, the excitement, and just the grit that our players are playing with they're going to make a big play happen. They're going to go in, and they, they're going to knock a lick. You know, we had the one hit the player and uh, knocked his helmet off. And, and from that point here, you know, it was only three minutes remaining in the second quarter, but seen a different spark on our team. And, and you know, we're just again, offensively not quite gelling yet. We're not quite gelling yet. We're getting there to it. Um, and, again, it's going to take patience with that yes. side of it. Again, it's not the spread offense. Yep. Um, but, man, Again, just throw out a few shout-outs. Again, we talked about Trent Music and his big hit. Um, number 75, we've mentioned him oh, all man. night long, Marquand Lee. And he's um, been this playing young man, those. This young man is just – he is making a difference up there. And as this game goes on, that center, he's going to be tired by the end of it. Yes. And it's going to be a whole different game. And the Don't two it. big um, on offense players I want to shout-out, Heath, uh, number one, our running back, Travion Richardson, and 10, Aiden Coffin. Aiden Coffin. And so far, that's been the – the light of the spark, you know, right. that we've had offensively. And, and I just hate it for Travion that we had that touchdown call back and, uh, again, was a great play. And Knox Ledbetter, a quarterback, did an outstanding job on the pitch to the outside. Yep. And uh, everything lined up. We just uh, – they, they caught us on the hold. Yep. And, it's you know, that's football. It Unfortunately, is. you're going to have those calls. You're going to have bad calls. We've had bad calls. Um, in our day, it seems like our guys, if they do make a mistake, we get back up, we move forward. And that's, that shows growth and maturity. And once you when you start doing the right things over and over, it's going to work. Definitely. There ain't no other way but to work. Well, Heath, man, I'm excited. Uh, let's talk about this Red Raider Regiment band. 109 man. kids. You kidding me? I thought it was 95. If I'm not, I was told 109 was what I was told because I was asked about feeding um, wow. everybody. Now, that might have been including the staff also. Now, I might, that yeah. was 
Well, I asked about feet. Yeah, I think they got it was 95 band members, and then if, I guess if you throw in the staff, that's I'll about see. right. That's going to be 109. And I know, yeah. um, you know, again, you got seventh graders all the way up to twelfth graders, and I know I know my daughter. She's been excited about it all summer long. She, it's her senior year. Um, she's been fortunate enough. They made her flag cat or. Let me get it right. Yeah. Color guard cat, and she will she will get on to me if I call it flag. Well, I gotta hand it to Mr. G, and that's what I call him. Yeah. Uh, I go to church with him, and uh, I just can't get past it. It's Mr. G, Mr. G, and yeah. man, he's just doing a phenomenal job and keeping these kids excited. And um, our cheerleaders got to give a shout out there, uh, Miss Jessica Johnson, Johnson and Miss Kylie Griffin and are Ms. the coaches there. And, both, and they both work with the band also. They do. They do. So they color guard yeah. and majorettes, right? Or, yep. Yep. So they work with them as well. And, um, man, just it's a great day to be a Red Raider. Excited to get here. A Raider Regiment band is going to take the field. So we're going to take about a 15-minute uh, break, and we will come back uh, to start the third quarter. And I know Co Coach Wilson uh, is going to be firing it up. We're in the gymnasium. I can't.
Red Raiders, um, offensively, you know, we uh, had a touchdown call back and it just kind of slowed our pace down and Lanier's defense started adjusting to ours. Uh, it was just the, the dead leg that we couldn't get off of in that first half series of play. Uh, Lanier, they had a touchdown call back also, but they were able to continue and drive and, uh, and put up a score. The score is six to nothing, Lanier, Lanier leading our Red Raiders. Uh, in the first half of play. Uh, but the good thing, Heath, is, you know, the score is six to nothing. Man, um, that's um, the that's mistakes, less than a touchdown. <clears throat> the mistakes have been minimal. Yeah. They haven't been tremendous, no. uh, if I can use those words. They've been minimal. Uh, and, when, you know, we have to take into consideration that, you know, our quarterback, Knox, uh, sophomore. He's, he's a sophomore. Mm -hmm. Our starting running back, uh, Travion, sophomore. sophomore. Uh, you know, we've got a lot. Our snap, uh, center is sophomore. Not, center is a uh, senior. He's a senior. I was thinking of uh, Taylor heard? Moore. No, that's right. Uh, yes. The center is not a long snapper. Is a no. Uh, yeah, senior. long snapper. But our center is who I'm saying. Yeah. Trent Music is a senior or long snapper. Yeah. And but, then Caleb Moore is a senior. He's senior also. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think what other youth positions that we had out there. Oh, uh, man. Um, I think everybody else on the, on the line is um, – a sophomore or junior. Yes. Um, so, both are, both are uh, blocking running backs. JoJo and uh, Rashid are juniors. Definitely. Um, you got um, Keyshawn, who's playing one tackle, and Tyler playing the other. Both of them are juniors. And the strong suit for the night uh, on my call, Heath, is I'm going to have to say special teams. Yeah. Uh, has definitely been the most impressive that I've probably seen in um, – you know, six, eight, ten years, uh, and an outstanding job, uh, special teams, especially coming into a first game. That's usually the one, the weakest link coming into a first game of the season because you just don't get much time. But, man, I got to give it to Coach uh, Wilder and uh, for well, doing a phenomenal job here. And, well, I know, again, watching them at practice this summer, Coach Wilson believes in, in special teams. A lot of coaches kind of take it off and only do it maybe a day or yeah. half a day at practice, one day a week. Um, Coach Wilson's and the staff and them's out there a couple of days. Um, I think almost every day the long snappers are out there working <coughs> on um, long snapping before actual practice gets started. As soon as they can get dressed, they run out there real quick. So we see it, and again, it's, it's telling on how we're playing those tonight. Yeah. So we're not, you know, we're not in the woods here. Uh, we're not in the dark. Uh, the score is six to nothing. Uh, this tie could swing. Uh, you know, you get a score and a field goal, and, and you're up seven six. That's right. Um, we just need uh, to set some rhythm offensively uh, to just get comfortable. Um, you know, and we, I think our problem area is not in the playmakers. It's more in uh, in blocking uh, schemes and what we're trying to do. Getting our blocking lineup correct. Yes. Uh, making sure we're reading the blitzes. And man, I'll be honest with you. Um, I know I know everybody talks about the running backs and quarterbacks, but man, when you're lined up every play, knowing you're gonna hit somebody, um, and then they're gonna run somebody up the middle there on a blitz. The offensive line is the toughest place to play, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, those guys right here, not only are they gotta be physical, they gotta be smart, they gotta react quick. Um, and our guys, again, they're they're trying to figure it out. We're talking about we got one senior across the line right now. Yeah. Um, and I know we we're running some guys in. We've had some sicknesses here or there throughout. And coach, what he's trying to figure out right now in this first game is he's trying to get film on as many as he That's can, right. uh, and with rotating out a lot of those linemen and stuff. Uh, again, we we've not had the opportunity uh, to play a game. This is the first game of the season, so he really that that film is going to be key. That's right. Uh, for us to be able to make corrections and him to look and see where we're making mistakes and, you know. And again, who, Coach Wilson's been around this game long enough to know. I'm sure there's some adjustments at halftime that he made. Oh, definitely. Um, well, we're, there we're, was half times that were made during the game. That's right. Uh, um, we're, we're living in a different world. Back in the day, you know, the, the player could come to the sideline and say, Coach, I didn't miss that block. Now they got the ability with them iPads. They can say, yeah, you missed that block. So there's a lot of, lot of teaching and a lot of learning that can go on in half times. Mm -hmm. Uh, just like the screen, you know, we definitely, uh, they burn us on the screen, but we, we adjusted and they were not able to uh, be effective with it uh, the remainder of the night. Right. Uh, uh, but it, it cost us on that one burn. 
Um, so that's going to end the half here. Let's go, Raiders! Super excited. The players, hey, there's a lot of energy on the sideline. And, that's right. Uh, and that's the one thing I took out of the first half, Joe, was the mistakes we did make. Our guys were picking each other up. Yes. It was, they let that play go, and they started the next play. And right now they're, they're out here hitting each other on the shoulder pads and encouraging each other. And, man, that, that's another exciting thing to see, Heath. That's right, it is. And our guys are taking the field. Um, we're going to receive to start the second half. Um, looks like we're dropping number eight back deep um, to receive. Um, but, man, I'll go ahead and tell you, out of the ones I know that's out there, I'd hate for any one of them to get the hand, hands yeah. on the ball because these guys got some speed here. Um, they are definitely um, can do, make something happen if they got the seam and got a hole. Um, they'll take it to the house in a hurry on you. Definitely. So we've got number two, number eight, and 14, which is Antoine Fuller, uh, Aiden Wright, and the Anthony, Anthony Green. That's right. <clears throat> also known as Moopy. Moopy. Um, I think he kind of got where he didn't want to be called Moopy, but then nobody listened. <laughs> nice kickoff. Um, going deep. They're uh, going to kick it kind of down the center. They let it bounce. And we try to break it outside. We he breaks one tackle. He, he tries to break back another. To the inside. And he gets another about five yards on the play. Nice little recovery. I wish we get to the point where we're not letting it bounce, Joe. That's just a yeah. personal thing. Um, when you let it bounce, it takes momentum out of it. Lanier, oh, 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 man. Uh, Lanier's got a player down. I think it's a cramp uh, because he got back up and tried to run. And yeah, he's yeah, he's he's trying to get it laid out there. And, which they haven't rolled him over. Now they're rolling him over, and they're going to bring the leg up um, to see what's going on. But our Red Raiders are going to take over. It's going to be first and 10 on about the 21-yard line. And Heath, that was about a, that was about a 15-yard return, 16-yard return. Like I said, if I, if, I need to, if I have to nitpick and – I, the, the letting it bounce, that's twice we've let it bounce like that. And I'm glad to see the near player get back up that's here right. and walk on in his own accord. Yep. But both times they, they recovered and made good runs out of it, made something happen out of it. So our Red Raiders are on, coming onto the field. Um, and we got Cozy coming in at quarterback. He's going to start the second half at quarterback. JoJo's going to join him in the backfield, number six, um, JoJo Brown. It's a little different setup here on offense. There's more of a spread. Um, we got twins up top, one wide receiver down to the bottom. We put yep. a guy in motion. Go to fake the hand. Oh, and man, yep. Cozy's bad, but, man, he's driving his feet. Yeah, he he's, kept the ball, but uh, was just a tough – he didn't see on the back side, his yeah. blind side. Uh, he had a man coming in on a blitz. And, Mine should have uh, handed that off on that option play. It's going to bring up second and about 11 on the, for the next play for Bacon County. Um, number 18, Knox Ledbetter runs out as quarterback. It's going to bring the team to the line. Um, back to that spread type offense. We do have two tight ends. And Cawthorn up top at receiver. Send number eight in motion. motion. Oh, oh bad. bad snap. Oh, we, we got him. No. Oh, he caught it! 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 He's caught it over here! Holy cow! Hey. Great play by Aiden Coffin. Great concentration. He knocked that ball loose for an interception, and then he caught it going down. That's a great play by that young what man. You, what, what's the saying? Done and up. Done and hey, up. Man, ESPN <laughs> needs to have that one. Woo. That right there was a great play. Great concentration. I know people work tip drills all the yeah. time. That worked perfectly right here. It sure was. Great man. play by that young yeah, man. Maybe I mean, that's the spark we needed. That Joe. is. We talked about it. We just got to right. have that exciting play, and, right. and maybe that's what we need right here to get the – uh, enthusiasm and excitement going in our offense. That brings up first and ten on the 45. We hand it off number one. Oh, he hits he the hole. He breaks loose. He cuts he's it outside. Out. He's up top. One man to beat. They try to push him out. He goes oh, down. Oh. Touchdown, Red Raider. Number one, Javion Richardson. Great run. No flag. That's going to stand right here. Oh, they cow he. They get him at about the six-yard line and try to push him out of bounds, and he spins. He and they not going to be denied that day. They were pushing him backwards, and he run in the end zone That's in reverse. Right. <laughs>
Great play. Great series there for those two plays. My goodness. And it's all because of the excitement it there. It is. Again, it takes one play. We talked about it. Aiden Cotham, again, <laughs> pass off to that young man for what he did on that play. One, he stopped the interception. That was yeah. the big thing. And then had the concentration to, to find the ball in the air as he's going down. All right, we're going for the PAT. See if this special teams. It's up. Uh, no good. good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we, we pushed it just to the, to the right. Number 88, Isaiah. And um, he freshman. There, there is a little wind to our backside, which would push that ball to the right. It's um, not real strong, but in, there is a breeze. You know, and again, bringing in a fr young man, freshman, great guy, great kid. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that was his first ever attempt yeah. in the game. Uh -huh. I'm sure his nerves yeah, and his you, heart was going 90 to nothing you right now. You know. Um, I'm nervous was, for him, and I'm <laughs> up here. <laughs> I'm sure if his mom and daddy's out there, he, they were all nervous too seeing him go on the field. Yes, sir. Um, but Love it, seeing these footballs from the cheerleaders come right. up in the stands. And, again, our Red Raiders tied up with 10 minutes and 28 seconds in the third quarter off of two plays there, Joe, if I'm yes, not mistaken. Sir. Um we tied up. We do miss the field goal, but now our defense is going to get a chance to make a stand here. And again, I hope they come out on fire. I think they will. I think they will. There is man. This sideline down here is lit up, Heath, and uh, they ready. And number 19, Cozy Batten tees it up. He's going to kick it, and I think they played him a little shallow because I've watched Cozy kick it into the end zone. And it's got the wind kind of going that direction. Maybe he'll get hold of it. Oh, it's a little pooch kick, high pooch kick. Runs underneath. Oh. oh, he breaks to the bottom side. And we're going to get a hand on him, and we're going to bring him down, but not after a huge gain. Uh, he's going to run out of bounds or get pulled, tackled out of bounds at the uh, inside our territory on the 39-yard line. Yeah, we broke coverage on that and let him have a, a seam there. And that's the one thing you talk about on special teams. You can't let them have a seam no. on the kickoff. But our Red Raiders come on to the field. Um, again, we're all in white tonight. Um, very sharp look to me. I like that all white. Definitely. Um, and we're, we're going to see if we can't stop Lanier right here. We need a good four and out. That was our first real big mistake on special teams. It was. All night right it there. was. I know we bragged on them a little yeah. bit. Maybe we should have no, bragged on them. We got to hold back a little That's bit. That's right. Um, defense comes on. They got trips up top. High, High snap. snap. He Handed off number eight. He finds him a hole. And he's going to chop off about six yards there, Joe. Yeah, and he takes a jump and leap forward uh, once we uh, made contact on him. Luckily, we were able to hang on and bring him down. That's going to bring up second and four for Lanier County. Our defense here is going to try to stand big, keep him out of the end zone. Ball's on about the 33-yard line here in our territory as Lanier is trying to push on down and put another score on the board. They're going to hand it back, back off. off the, and, nope. he in the hole. Yep. and he bounced outside. We had two guys on him, and, man, it's just uh, he is moving. He's he's hitting our tackles and then cutting back the opposite way. And, man, he when he hits the hole, that arm tackling, it ain't going to work on him. No. you got to put your shoulder in him and keep driving through. We need that Trent music tackle in there. That's right. They run twins down to the bottom. One uh, wide receiver. They hand it off hand number eight again. He cuts up the middle. And he's just chomping off about three to four yards mm -hmm. every time here. Our defense is um, making a stand. Uh, we've got to get off that block a little bit quicker than what we've been getting off of it. It was a five-yard gain on the play. He's just going to bring up second down and five. Uh, the ball looks to be around the 18-yard line. We're running our big uh, nose guard 75 off. Uh, we got Tyler, Tyler Thomas in at nose. They run again. twins up top. Again, handed off number eight four times he's in a row. Him. He hits the top and outside, and he's going to run in. He fumbled, oh, he fumbled in the end, in end zone. zone, but he recovered. He did recover. Touchdown, Touchdown. Lanier County. So t Lanier answers right back there with a drive that didn't take very long to do there, Joe, and our defense. Again, we need to make a, a, just a few yeah. adjustments. Um, Number eight was everything that, that complete series there yeah. for Lanier. Oh, yeah. Again, look, they're going to put their hand, put their ball in his hands every time they get a chance. So that makes the score 12, Lanier, Bacon County, six, eight minutes and 36 seconds remaining. They've got number 18 to hold for the PAT. 
Looks like they're running in a new kicker. They got a new kicker, Heath. Number 19 is going to be the, doing the kicking for them this time. Looks like we, we jumped got on in that there. one. Yep. Looks like we jumped. Now, this boy's got a leg right here. Um, that was uh, Aiden Cawthorn yep. in, and he's limping off the field. I think he got a little he foot got, or something yeah. to the shin. Now they're going to go for two. Running in different personnel, running the kicker off. Yep. Called an offsides penalty on our Red Raiders. When they're lining up here for the two-point conversion. They got number oh, Bubble, bubble. bubble. All right, bring him down. down. Good job. Good job. Great job by our defense there. So the uh, two-point conversion is denied. Uh, the score is Lanier County 12, Bacon County 6. Eight minutes and 36 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Uh, we'll send it back to the station for a We pitch pitched it a little bit too quick, I yeah. think. And he, yeah, well, it's going to be about a one-yard loss on the play. Yep. Going to bring up second and 11 for our Red Raiders. little execution issue on that pitch play. Uh, and two, our blocks, uh, they sniffed it out, yep. you know, with what we were doing. And just going to bring up a one-yard loss to be second down and 11. It's going to put the ball on. A 19 yard line back in Red Raider territory. Knox led better sophomore is back at quarterback. He's joined in the backfield by two running backs. And we've got one running back up close to the end. Low, Low snap. snap. We hit it, it off. He hits a hole. He finds it. He's driving, He's driving his feet. Pumping. And he's going to pick up about nine, about 10 yards, but it's going to bring up third down and about one or two. So he picked up. Eight yards on that play there. Travion on the run. That's right. So, very good aggressive run by Travion. So, it's going to be third down and three. If he could have broke that tackle yes. right here, he was gone. There wasn't nobody going to even be around him at that moment. So, third down and about three for our Red Raiders. Score, Lanier 12, Bacon County 6. Seven minutes and five seconds remaining. Clock continues to tick here in the third quarter. Bring JoJo in motion. Hand it back off to Travion. Uh, Man, they, they, they meet him there, and they just game tackle him. Yes, Looks have. like he's going to get pushed back a yard, so that's going to be up fourth and about four for our Red Raiders. They was four. The near County Bulldogs in for the tackle on that play. We're going to run the punt team in. Cozy Batten's going to be back doing the punting duties. Um, number seven, Trent Music, is our long snapper. little confusion here on uh, Lanier County special teams on 
who they send him back. They send in another man, number two, number six in the backfield. So, uh, delay. False start. False start. We wanted to jump a little yep. bit too quick on that one. So that's going to put us back. Back to the 20. 20. Or 21. Yep. And that's going to put Cozy is back to about the seven yard line. Eight yard line. He's standing on the eight, eight yard hash. So pin deep here for the punt. Oh, ah. nice snap. Oh, my goodness. Nice, nice recovery by Cozy. He yeah. did shank it, though. And they ain't. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. They touched it. Let's see what they Not call. Sure who's on the bottom of the pile. Let's see who comes up with it. They look like they're signaling. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that just a high snap. Cozy had to jump man, way he up jumped out one of his hand. Shoes yes. To one get hand that to one. grab to keep that from going th through the back of the end zone. Yep. And uh, he had a guy coming in on him, and he had to get it off as quick as possible and just shanked it. And uh, just uh, another mistake here, two back-to-back -back special teams. And, again, Heath, we've got to hold off on the – Yeah, we <laughs> – Again, we got to quit shooting ourselves in the foot. Yeah. Um, they, they can't start on our 20-yard line or 25-yard line. Um, that's definitely pinning us way too deep. We're asking too much of our defense here. We just got our defense red does come up. up. And the county is going to hand it off. They go to number eight. He's going to cut back up the middle to the inside. And we bring him down. Looks like he's going to gain about two yards on the play. So we're going to bring up second and eight for Lanier County. Again, they're going to – they're trying their best to put that ball in his hands every time. Yep. And until we stop him, that's yep. what they're going to do. That's right. Um, looks like he's going to get a breather. They're going to run in number two at running back. Number four is back at quarterback. Um, kids got a, a real piece of small the running back they got in. Look to see if they pass they it, off they him. it off to him. He, and we get, yeah. he tries to get outside, but we stuff that. Quick, number eight, Aiden Wright stuffed that out. Um, didn't let it go nowhere. Actually dropped him for a, about a three-yard loss. He's going to bring up third and 11. And they put number eight back in. He runs back in on the field. Oh, so yeah. He got a one-play breather. <laughs> and I think that young man's playing both ways for yeah. him, too. And you see him with his hands on his hips over there. I mean, he's breathing. Yeah, he's breathing hard. Again, the, work, the workhorse usually does. Yeah. That's right. They put him in motion now in the backfield. They're going to try to swing pass oh. it to him. We break it up. They oh. pitch it, and we stuffed that out. That was a great play. It was actually a big loss on the play for them. That's going to be about a four-yard loss. That's going to bring up fourth down and 15. And number eight, he looks like he's oh. cramping up there. Um, he he was in on the tackle, Mr. Aiden Wright. Again, he sniffed that. That pass out, and they yep. were chasing after him, and he did get a pitch off, but he just stayed with his man like he was supposed to. Again, bringing up fourth down and about 15 for Lanier County with 421 left. The Red Raiders are down 6 to 12. We're going to take a quick 30-second injury timeout here as they uh, massage out his cramp, and uh, we'll send it back to the station of Mr. Paul here for a 30-second break on Classic Country 104.3. If you want to save money and save time on your grocery shopping, come on out to Jay's Time. You'll find savings up every aisle. A fantastic deli, farm fresh produce in this area, top meat department. Plus, you'll find short checkout lines, fast, friendly service, and the people really appreciate your business. Jay's I G A N Alma says, Go Big Red. <laughs> Twenty-one seconds remaining in the third quarter. Lanier leading our Red Raiders twelve to six. Um, just mistakes costing us tonight. Um, had a few moments of excitement uh, in the first half. Uh, scored a touchdown. Had it called back to a penalty. Uh, second half, we were able to put something together and put a score in the end zone. Lanier County now is at fourth down and fifteen. They're going to go for it. They're going to throw somebody to the top side. We're going to bring him down. He's not like short, short, so we're going to take over right there. Yep, offense, so good stop by defense. defense. They held 
being pinned deep there. Our defense stood up big. Good job by them guys to do their job here and get our offense back on the field. So Lanier going to turn it over on downs. It's going to bring up first down and 10 for our Red Raiders. Ball spotted on the uh, 15. 20-yard line. 20-yard line. Again, it's hard for us to see over the players right here um, to read those numbers. A little late personnel change for our offense coming in, bringing in a play. Looks like we don't have the right personnel no. in. We finally get one out there. We run in that bullet package, three uh, running backs in the backfield. We snap the ball, give it to number one, and he hits the hole, and he falls forward. I thought it was more than that. It don't look like they even giving him anything. No, it sure doesn't. Man, and I thought just as – I know he ain't very tall, but yeah. at least five foot gets you a yard, I thought. The hard thing being – They're marking sh- off now. looks like you know, penalty. penalty on Red Raiders. So bring up first down and 15. Heath, I never saw what the call was. I didn't either. Um, looks like the weather starting start. to change. It looks like we got a little thunder boomer rolling in here. Um, it was about 10 miles away earlier, but it, it seems to be getting closer and closer. It'll be a first down and 15 for our Red Raiders, deep, deep in our territory where we don't want to be at. Drop back to pass. Not Knox going deep. To go. Oh, just, just out of his outstretched hands there. Um, that was good coverage there by the – the defense, but I think our guy would have had him beat if it was just another yard shorter yep. there. And he was, he was, he just overthrew him by a yard. Yep. Um, great play, trying to make something happen by the coaching staff. Love the play, Colin. And um, I got to hand it to our sophomore quarterback there. That that pass was uh, 50 yards in the air. He, yeah, that was a nice little pass there by Knox, led better number 18. And again, just one yard overthrew him. Yep. And our guy was full stride, too. Sending Aiden Cawthorn up top in motion, try to get him to jump off sides and get a flag. Well, I guess one of our guys must have jumped. That's going to back us up Man. even more. Yep. yep so. Again, we talked about it the first half. We wasn't, we didn't have very many penalties yep. other than the ones that really hurt us there. But the second half, we were being plagued with it here. Um, that's two offside false start penalties that we've had here for Bacon County. And that's going to put us on the 10-yard line deep in our territory. Three minutes and 32 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Lanier County leading 12-6 over our Red Raiders. So he's sending in the play, number 18 running in the play call. We're going to call a timeout. So that'll be a Red Raider timeout in first of the second half here uh, with three minutes and 32 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Lanier leading 12-6 to six over our Red Raiders. We will take a 45-second timeout and send it back to the station here to Mr. Miss-
Georgia High School, you're supposed to kind of go up there and, and shadow a little bit, not just running there with your head yeah. down. Um, but that block there, um, he tried to de-click that kid. Yep. So he's going to bring it back. Um, so the nice sp- return. Go from the spot of the foul, right? It should go from the spot of the foul, yes, sir. There's two yard, two penalties. There's two block in the back, so it'll uh, be 30 yards. Holding. Holding. And unsportsmanlike. And unsportsmanlike. Yep. So that's going to back be, them up deep. That'll or, be 25 yards, yep. right? Um, should put them on their side, or at least they're right at the 50. So that marked off the holding. No. <laughs> they're trying to figure out which way to go. I don't know. I don't think they know which way to go. No. They just marked off two 10 yards. Yeah. So it's going to bring up first and 10. It looks like um, Lanier is in our territory. It looks like it's going to be on the 46-yard line in our territory. One minute and 42 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Lanier leading 12 to 6 over our Red Raiders. The thunderstorm seems to be backing back off some and pushing away. Hope it continues to uh, go to our, uh, uh, I guess, I'm trying to get my bearing here. That's the northeast. Yep. Number eight takes the ball, hits the hole there in the middle, and he's going to pick up about six yards. He is by far the best playmaker uh, for Lanier. Oh, yeah. All night long. Yep. He was he was their main guy last year. Uh, so he's definitely um, – at halftime, I was talking to somebody, if I'm not mistaken, he's committed to Liberty University. Mm-hmm. Which is up in Virginia. Yep. A uh, big Christian college up there. So it brings up second and about four for Lanier. And they hand it back off eight. again. Stiff arms. We, we, get, get a, we get in there that time and we make the play. Number 50, Keyshawn Holmes made a great play, great Getting stop. Tackle him in the backfield for about a three-yard loss, Heath. Yes, sir. So that's going to bring up third down and six, six. Yep. for Lanier County. Great defensive play by the Red Raiders and just did get a hand on the front of that jersey and slowed him up enough that the linebacker was able to come in and right. bring him down. Clock's ticking down, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. They snap it off, fake the the handoff. Oh, Oh, right through the hands. They go to number 10, their receiver, and he's going to. Number four was looking at him, and the ball went right off his helmet there. Um, But great coverage by our defense there. Um, So that's going to bring up fourth down and about six with 26 seconds left. They look like they are going go for it here on fourth down. They're going to try to get us to jump. We'll see what happens here, Heath. Yep. They're going to call a timeout. Yep. Timeout, Lanier County, 25 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Lanier leading 12 to 6 over our Red Raiders. We'll see what they decide to do if they're going to go for it or if they're going to punt it. But we'll send it back to the station for a quick 30 second break to Mr. Paul.
recognize four quarter, and this is where we got to dig deep. And right. coach talked hard in uh, our pregame meal uh, about heart and uh, championship heart, and this is where it's found in the fourth quarter. Heath. That's right. Our Red Raiders in the in our bullet package that we have, one wide receiver up top. We go hand it off to number, number one. one. He and does he a good to job. Find the seam and he gets about six yards, and that's going to bring up a second down and four for our Red Raiders. Looks like we're going to run the clock on down. I like we're how he was hiding the ball there, Heath. That's right. That's fourth quarter, Joe. Yep. Ends fourth or end of the third quarter, going into the fourth quarter. So uh, Lanier leading our Red Raiders 12 to six. We are uh, going to send it back to the station for a 60-second timeout for a little station identification to Mr. Paul at Classic Country 104.3. Raider Nation, welcome back here to the start of the fourth quarter. Our yeah. offense is on the field, second down and about five for our Red Raiders. Lanier leading 12 to six over our Red Raiders. 12 minutes left in the game, Joe. Lightning That's off in it. the distance. We hand it off to number one, they and he's mad at the line. line. Um, our guys are um, they're, they're leaking through there on yeah. the defensive line. We need a better push across there um, to give him a little bit of, of running room there. And no gain on the play. And, man, I got to give it to Coach Wilson uh, for that four-quarter speech, uh, if that's what we want to call it. Man, he was getting them guys fired up. So that's we got to right. see something here. That's we right. need to see that push on offense. We're back in our bullet package. Nice pass. pass. Number, Number 10, 10 has it. He's trying to make some room. And he ducks and dodges. And he um, – they – they're trying to say it was a fumble, but he was down. Um, but that's going to bring up a Red Raider first down. Now Great that, play by uh, Aiden Mr. Aiden Cawthorn. Cawthorn. Um, I know he um, he came out a little earlier limping. He's limping back yep. again. Um, I think he, they were working on his ankle earlier. Man, I like that speed, uh, uh, that yak. Yeah. <laughs> what, yards after the catch? Yep. Uh, he's got a good shifty move, and, uh, man, he just turns the jets on and lights it up. Yep. Um, Hope that young man, it looks like they're working on just cramping Cramp, issues. Yeah. Um, we're back in our bullet, bullet package. Number two, uh, Guinea Fuller's up top. Long wide receiver. We hand it off to number one. He tries to cut back, and, man, and he he's just met line. by a host of guys in red jerseys tonight. Um, Defensively, Lanier County is hitting our offensive line. Uh, they're, they're pushing us. That's right. We're they're standing us up, and they're getting some penetration, and we're just not able to uh, to get go down Deal Hill because they are locking us up at the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 10, 10 minutes and 25 seconds here in the fourth quarter. Clock continues to roll, and they're counting leading 12 to 6. We ran in um, number 22. I think we went to our tight package. We got a bullet formation in the back. We drop we back for pass. pass. We got a guy open. Oh, he overthrows him. JoJo. Just a little bit. He was wide open there in the flats. I um, just couldn't connect on the play there, Joe. Nope. That's going to stop the clock at 10 minutes and 7 seconds and bring up third down and 10. I'm sure we'll go for another pass play here. Uh, got a long ways to go. Um, haven't seen. Uh, we didn't put Run Cawthorn back in yet. We um, got number 19, um, Cozy Batten, coming back at quarterback. 
We break the huddle. Bring Guinea down to the bottom. Wide receiver, single receiver up top. Cozy batting back at quarterback. Cozy getting a call. Take the he snap. Drops back. His Guinea ah, ah, dropped the ball right out there. of his hands. It would have been short. Uh, Heath had he caught it yeah. because uh, it was just a low pass. So that's going to bring up fourth down and ten for our Red Raiders. Um, it looks like we're running our punt team in. Get a good snap here and let Cozy kick it deep. Um, get us a good roll and see if we can't pin them down deep into their, their territory this time, Joe, and let our defense stand up. Yeah. Heath, we couldn't ask for better football weather right now. I'll tell you what, it feels quite nice. It does. I know down there on the field and the pads and all that, them guys are sweating and hot, but sitting right here, it feels okay. Yep. Great nice high punt. kick by Cozy Batten. They're getting under it. Oh, man, we get a shoestring tackle. Oh. So he gets no gain on the return. Wow, that was the best punt of the night from Cozy Batten. Great. Great punt by Cozy Batten. He put all his foot into that one. Yes, he did. I didn't see who was in on the tackle there, but they brought him down, and that's going to pin them down, and it's going to start first and 10 on their 25, Joe. I think that was Guinea in on the, on the tackle there. I know he was flying down the field. Um, them guys are coming full speed. I, they're, they're there to hurt somebody when they yeah. hit. But Lanier's going to line up in their trips package down to the bottom. Um, run, one running back. Again, they, they that's handed their bread and butter. Eight. They handed it to him. He breaks to the outside. We're, we're going to get about six Red Raiders, and we put a lick in on his mouth. He gets up. He's shaking his head, and he's saying, bring it, guys. Yep. Um, um, Looks like number 88 was in there on the tackle. Um, he, he, young man, a freshman, Isaiah, um, come in and help, help finish up that tackle. Yeah. Six-yard gain is going to bring up second down and four for Lanier County. Nine minutes and 25 second clock continuing to roll. Lanier leading 12 to 6 here late in the fourth quarter. They ain't in no hurry to run the ball. No. Um, they're going to run the play clock down as low as they can each time probably here, Joe. And again, with their running game, you know, they've, they've got the strength at this point. We have got to stand up. and Looks like you know, they're going to run a wildcat package here, number one at quarterback. They're going to have to call, call a timeout. timeout. Let the play clock run out uh, or was about to run out on them. So uh, eight minutes and 57 seconds remaining. Lanier leading 12 to 6 of our Red Raiders. We'll take a 30-second timeout break and uh, send it back to the station. And Mr. Paul at Classic. Their second of the half, and uh, got we're, eight minutes and 57 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. We're getting a lot of help, Joe. Yeah. And they run it right up the middle. Just a quick snap to number eight, and it looks like he's going to be just maybe hair a hair short. short. See which way they spot it here. Um, it's going to be close here. Yeah. Um, it, Probably going to have to measure on this. It was a direct snap straight to him. And they're oh, they're going to give a first down. down. So that'll be first down and 10, Lanier County. They spot in the ball. Heath, I can't, let's see, 30, 37-yard line. Clock uh, continues to roll. Again, first down and 10, Lanier, eight minutes and 38 seconds. Lanier leading 12 to six here in the fourth quarter over our Red Raiders. We need a big Red Raider up defense here. Got to make a play. They got trips or twins up top. One running back right behind the um, line. They try to get our guys to jump off sides. Number four at quarterback, number eight, the big running back. 
They hand it off to him. He tries to find the middle, and he does find a, little, a small hole, and he's going to gain about four yards, Joe. And how we hit him at the line and, hit, and how he dives four yards, you know. He definitely, again, he's just a hard running he running is. back. Um, he's going he's gonna to get everything he can out of it, even if it ain't looking good to start with. Our Red Raiders on defense here. And it seems like we've played a lot of defensive ball tonight here. It does. It looks like it seems I'm, like they've been on the field for a while now. But yeah. our guys are being ran, rotated in and out, it looks yeah. like. Um, keeping fairly fresh legs. They go and hand it off to number eight. They pull in everybody under the sun. Man, he hits the line hard on that play. And we, again, our guys, I'll give them credit. Uh, when that one stands him up, the rest of the bunch is right there with them pretty quick. And I think that was going to be about a six-yard gain on the play. They're going to mark him a hair short. Yep. So that's going to bring up third, third down and one. Yep. Ball is on the 46-yard line. Lanier's trying to get into Bacon County territory. Seven minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Clock continues to roll. Lanier leading 12 to 6. This is a big third this down is. for our Red Raiders. We need to make a huge stop here. This Again, we know, we know whose hand they're going to put yep. it in number eight. And we kind of try to get him behind the line and – Again, he just he pushes. Yes. Um, he again he he's a hard runner. Um, he gets downfield quickly and he drives his feet. Um, just what you teach a running back to do. And, and I got to give it down. to their right guard and tight end up there on the play and on some good blocking and allowing him to find a hole to make some penetration. He when near comes to the line, they bring trips down to the bottom. Um, number eight in the backfield. And all scouting report pointed to him this past week that I looked. Um, again, he's just their playmaker. He's going to be in on every play. Quarterback gets a new play. Call for the snap. High snap. High snap. Broken snap. play. We slowed him up and in the backfield, but he breaks free. We had him by the back of the jersey, and he's just so strong. He broke away, and, man, he went for about a – Four-yard, five-yard game. Looks like about four, four yards. Four-yard game. It's going to bring up second down and six. Five minutes and 50 seconds uh, remaining here in the fourth quarter. Clock continuing to roll. The near leading 12 to six. This clock is not our friend no. here with them running this offense like they're running. And four yards in a cloud of dust eat up a lot of clock in sure a hurry. Does. And that's the benefit of having a strong running game. It is. Uh, is you can really control the clock. Yep. Um, and that's what they're playing now is clock control. Um, they're handing it off. They can pull everybody, and ah. he breaks loose, and we finally wrap him up. Um, it's be about a one-yard gain on the play, and good job defense here. It's going to bring up third down and five. Yep. Five minutes and 15 seconds. Clock continuing to roll. When they're leading 12 to six. We've got to have a stop here, big third down here for the Red Raiders. If we can stop them here, that will leave a little bit of time on the clock. And I don't see number eight. Did they run him off the field? They did on um, yeah. the play before. They brought in number six, which is their, you know, their back. How we can go call backup? For yeah. Most teams, he'd be their starting uh, running back. They both share time back here in the backfield. They have for the last two years. Bring number two in motion. Fake Fakes. it to him. Oh, oh, yeah. incomplete pass. That's going to stop. Great the clock. job by our defense and stop the clock. That Absolutely. works in our favor. You couldn't ask for no better than that. Yep. Uh, so it brings up fourth down. See if they're going to run the punt team on. Looks like they are. Number they 19 are. is going to come in for the punt. Well, I seen him go to number eight, and he shook his head no. Yeah. He, he went to him, and he he shook his head no. So uh, that, that, that young man's been – his his tongue's got to yeah. be hanging out by now. He's, he's Look at his shoulders. He's on the other side. I mean, his shoulders are slouched. Yeah. Um, number 19 is back to do the kicking for the near – we got number 19, Cozy Batten, back deep for us, joined by number 10, Aiden Cawthorn. See if they get a snap off. Snap Indeed. off. Oh, what? man, we come close. Line, drive, punt. Let We're it gonna go. Let it go. Yep. They're going to pin us deep. They're going to pin us really deep. That's going to put us in about the six-yard line, Joe. Hey, you know, it, I know people say pick it up and go, but, you know, you guarantee the shot yeah. if you just let that ball go dead. And, uh, you know, we're on the six. It is what it is. That's right. We're going to have to come deep. 
we got to go a long ways. We do, but we got four minutes and 30 seconds. A lot can happen, and I can't tell you how many times I hear Coach Wilson preaching about this moment right That's here. Right. Heath. That's right. He is. He's done it all summer long. Um, it's always the next play. It the is. next play can mean everything. And as long as we're in the right mindset and we're going to do what we're supposed to do, do our job, it can happen at That's any it. time. Well, he's definitely preached it all, like I said, all summer long. Just do next play up, next play. you got to forget about it. If it's yep. a good play, you still got to forget about it keep playing. Um, so our guys here being pinned deep, but we got to just do what we're supposed to do, do our yep. job, have our blocking assignments, keep those in front of us. And let's drive on down the field in the next four minutes and, and this 25 is where seconds. Champ championship hearts are made, right? That's here. right. And our Red Raiders, we come onto the field. Looks like we're going to be in our bullet package with three running backs in the backfield. Heath, it's time to get on our feet. Double tight, tight ends. Um, looks like we run a new guard in. Get the snap off number one. He breaks the tackle. And he's he driving to his the line back. He's still, still trying to and They, they finally push him, push him back. back. But not after about a seven yard gain there, Joe. Ooh, Great pick up by, by number one, Travion Richardson. Man, his spontaneity. <laughs> he's uh that shoulder pad, he's coming off. I don't know what he's uh I know his shoulder pad's messed up, but he's was grabbing his head. Yeah. I don't know if he's just frustrated with himself. I mean, uh, there's nothing to be disappointed in that run. No. Nope. We run to the more spread offense we've got now. Knox looks to the sideline to get the play. We got JoJo in the backfield with him. Drop back, look to pass. We got him. Come on, he, we oh, needed that. Just outstretched of his hands. Another just a yard overthrown. Yep. He had the inside on him. He yeah. had his man beat. We just got to connect on that play there. It's going to stop the clock at three minutes and 37 seconds uh, here he, in the fourth quarter. If he catches that, he's off to the races. And they're leading 12 to 6 over our Red Raiders. We're third down and four on about the 11 or 12 yard line. Uh, we're deep in our territory trying to make something happen. Third and about four for our Red Raiders. Our guys come to the line. Um, that kind of offset running package we've got. Um, they pull. He bounces outside. He's he trying does. to find a gap. And he's got one there. And I and think he's, he's going to drive and get he's it. He's going to drive. He did. Yes, sir. That's a nice run by that young man. Nice yeah. hard run. Nice pull block by um, our guard or tackle there. Yep. To open up a hole, a seam right there for a first down for our Red Raiders. going to stop the clock while they move the chains. First down and 10. What well, are they supposed to, but it's still running. Star, just started running three minutes and 20 seconds. Clock ticking away. Lanier leading 12 to 6. We got Cozy Batten. Looks like he's back in the quarterback position. Um, spread offense. Lightning in the background. Cozy he pulls it. it. And they uh they eat it up. They did, and they have ate that up all night. Nice. The few times that we have you, I think we tried it. That'll be the third attempt. Yep. And they they've ate it up all three times. Gonna bring up second and eleven for our Red Raiders. Clock continuing to roll. Two minutes and forty-five seconds. Lanier, twelve to six over our Red Raiders. We need a big play here, Red Raiders. We need to stand up and. Block the blocks and run the runs, like you say. Yep. It's as simple as that. That's football right here. Uh -huh. Our Red Raiders come that spread type offense. One wide receiver up top, one in the bottom. Send, Send the guy in motion. in motion. They drop back to pass. And we go to this. Nah, and man. He knocked us down. <laughs> come on. They ain't going to throw it. How in the world? I, I actually think our guy run over their guy. Yeah. Hey, just got a yeah. – I can't tell you the last time I got a football because of the air so high. Yeah. Hey, they threw it right to me. I'm surprised as a lineman <laughs> I even caught that. I'll be honest with you. I love it, Heath. I love it. You don't have to tell them yourself like that. Hey, man. I'll tell you right now, I was <laughs> I was born and bred to be a lineman. <laughs> Looking at this, Joe, again, we talk about the sponsors in Bacon County. Yep. 
Um, Access ATC sponsored the little football this year. Yeah. Again, they're a big sponsor for us. They're one they of are. our um, big sponsors. And, you know, our Red Raiders is third and 11. We got twins down at the bottom, one wide receiver up top. Knox Letter better back in the shotgun position. Low snap. He's dropping back. He's, He's trying to get away. Out. It's going to be incomplete. incomplete. Swatted the right way. It's going to bring up fourth down and 11 for our Red Raiders. Man, we needed something yeah, big there. Um, that, that, going to see what Coach does here yep. again. We're we're deep into their territory. Yeah. I don't know if you want to try anything or, any, you know, um, again, we can second guess us, yeah. whatever the play is going to be here. Um, it looks like we're keeping the offense on the field, though. We're going to go for it here. This probably going to be what the coach is considering the game here. And I'm curious to see if he lets the play clock run down and then call the timeout and try to get them to jump off sides, Heath. I don't know. Give yourself a little bit of favor. Yep. That would be good and all. We've gone to that spread type offense again. Knox is looking to the sideline for the call. We're going to call a timeout, Red Raider timeout. So with two minutes and ten seconds left in the game, our Red Raiders call a timeout. We are trailing. The Lanier Bulldogs, 6 to 12. We will send it back to the station for a quick 30 second break to miss. So we going for it. We we're going to go for it right here. Our Red Raiders offense are on the field. We're in the spread. We got twins up top. One single wide receiver down at the bottom. Low snap. And they're in that pre Oh, my um, goodness. And he just throws it behind him. Yep. So they're going to take over here deep in our territory. Um, Lanier County is. Um, our coach tried to. I yep. don't know what the. What the play call was, but the wide receiver and the quarterback don't look, didn't look to be on the same play, page no. there, Joe. But that's going to bring on our defense with two minutes and six seconds left on the clock. Lanier County's up 12 to Red Raiders 6. We need some big stops here by our we Red do. Raiders tonight. And Heath, uh, They've done it tonight. Sure. If they can just take a knee, I don't know if we have enough one time out if we can make this stop. Yeah, I'm not sure how all that works. Um, but it looks like they're going to kind of go to the same offense they ran all night. Um, looks like they're lining up the snap. They're not going to they're gonna get the clock going. Number eight. Oh, and we man. hit him right there. Nice hit there by number five, Rashid Slade, um, to stop him in his tracks. But he gains about a yard, yard or two on the play, so that's going to bring up second down and eight, Joe. Yep. Clock continues to roll, a minute and 49 seconds. And here leading 12 to 6. And they're going to let this uh, take as much time as possible. Again, I think we only have one timeout left. Play clock, 20 seconds. Clock at a 130. So we're going to come down to about a minute and 11, 12. They'll get this snap off. They're going to snap the ball at... Trips up top, minute 15. Run it by number one right up the middle. And he block, he goes past Look, two or three. And I think it was enough for a first down. It is. It's it going to bring up first and goal on about the four-yard line, Joe. Yeah. So minute and five seconds, clock continuing to tick. Here in the fourth quarter, Lanier 12, Bacon 6. Curious to see uh, now at this point. Lanier lets the clock run out, or are they going to try one more play to put up another score? Joe, I'll be honest with you. As a football player and a football coach, 
you're that close, you want to punch it in. Um, again, you know, they don't have to or nothing else like that, and I'm not going to say they're running up the score or nothing else. You're that close, you want your guys yeah. to play. And, again, with minimum play they have had, yep. you know, it, I don't think it's a bad thing right no. here. And they are. And he runs it up the middle, and we stop it there. He looks like he's going to pick up about it. A, a yard. yard. Um, so it's going to bring up third down. Clock's going to run. Um, good they, defensive stand right there. Right. Our, defense, man, our defense is on the on the goal line. Yeah. They're holding up here. The They're going to try another one quick. They're going to try to get another one yep. in on us quick here, and our guys are ready for it. Uh, they're going to oh, yes, man, hit him in the backfield. And, man, they, they gang tackle. Oh, my goodness. And, and that's going to run the clock out. But man. what grit. Hey, I give it to our players. Our guys fought hard tonight. Yes. I'll give that all the credit in the world. Our guys wanted to win this game. They, they came did. out here to win the game. And they proved that on the last play right And they here. showed it. Yeah, they yeah. could have easily let up. Yep. Those guys got lined up like they were supposed to, done their job, and I can't be more proud of these guys. Yes, I'd love to come away with a victory. Yep. But sometimes you grow more from a loss. That's right. And I think these guys, the way I, I know these guys, I've learned these guys, they're going to come back from this more hungry. Yep. Um, what I saw tonight was when mistakes happened, they lifted each other up. Yep. When things didn't go right, they patted each other on the back. Not just the players, but the coaches also. And I didn't see any bitterness anywhere no. tonight here. Uh, this, this team here, yeah, they're, they're, they're heartbroken. They wanted to yeah. win this game. Um, but they had nothing to hold their head down. They fought hard. Um, some mistakes on our end, and this game's different. By all, all stretch of the imagination, Joe. Um, yes, sir. We just got to get a little bit better on what we do. Well, coach has got something to go on. You know, right. first year coming in, uh, new whole new coaching staff, uh, a lot of new personnel on the, the playing squad. That's right. Uh, a lot of young kids, and uh, he needed some film to work with. He's got it he now. He's got he, it now. He's got and it again, now. And, again, as they, I, I, I haven't seen the film. I watched it like we did here live. Um, there's a lot of good things that build off of here, Joe. Yes, sir. Um, there was a lot of good things happened here tonight. Um, again, yes, our Red Raiders come away not victorious, um, and we want to get to that win, and it'll come. Yes, we just got to keep doing the things the right way. And and what I've seen tonight, that right way is taking place. Heath. That's right. That right way is taking place. Um, you know, early on, Heath, we bragged on special teams. I still they finished special teams finished strong. They made two big mistakes tonight. They did. But all in all. I still feel special teams was kind of uh, a big, strong suit for the night. Uh, offensively, we just got to uh, fix some rhythm issues. We couldn't uh, get into a rhythm. Yeah, and, and up front, we've got to do a better job at those blocking assignments. That's right. And uh, Lanier did a good job of exposing our youth uh, yeah. up front. We've got the size. We do. We've got the size there, but we're young. Yeah. Be patient. Yeah. Be patient because – Trust me, this offensive line and those young men that are up there, uh, each one of them uh, with uh, Thomas and uh, Caleb Moore. Caleb Moore, yes. I saw um, Tristan. Parker, um, Parker Hand, Tristan Strickland. Strickland yep. um, I know I did see him actually run out of Braden Hazel, and I know he had been hurt for the last couple of days. Uh, just tweaked his shoulder, I think it was. Um, number 75, um, Man, I'll, I'll get his name here shortly. I know. Um, but I, I've it's called like his name. or uh, I'm trying to think. It's slipping my mind. Yeah. But, but uh, again. He, I even saw him out at guard. Um, we, we've got some guys interchanging. And, and again, I, I, I've coached this sport. And the first thing I tell my lineman is, you can always.